All right, here we are. Welcome back. Today's video, we're going to be doing uh, some little repair things that we got for the Maverick. Um, it's a little windy out here today, so I'm uh, starting to record now. I don't know how it's going to go. Uh, if I'm going to have wind noise, if I have wind noise, I do apologize, but I have to work outside. I do have my wind noise cancellation spongy thingy on there, but it doesn't always work the greatest. So today... We got a couple parts. We have some new trailing arms going on the X3. We're gonna unbox those and I'll talk a little bit about what's going on and then I'll go through the process of installation on the X3. So anyways, hope you enjoy today's video. It's not as exciting as the riding videos and stuff that we got going on, but I'm just keeping up with uh, my part on what's going on with my rig and some installation. A uh, couple things. That I didn't do. I actually did this one night on the trailer uh, in the dark. I uh, picked up a set of these tree kickers from Andy Anderson from I think it's Southeastern Side by Side and put on here. You may have seen these in both the Walden Ridge videos. Highly recommend these. These are not the cheap knockoff junk. I actually felt like I almost chipped my tooth when I bounced off of a rock with these. They're attached to the frame back here. Uh, through bolts here here and here and it comes around the front they are battle tested I will tell you that they're much worth the money uh, I don't know how well you can see they bolt through the frame uh, here and another spot down here and then right back in here they're pretty easy to install uh, if you have a second set of hands they're super awesome so you can see right here there's been I'm telling you, when I say, hey, I got rocks, I almost chipped my tooth, I hit that rock pretty hard. And I was like, dang, you know, I figured that they were trash because I've seen some of the other cheaper models, uh, people that's got um, more budget friendly, but I've seen them get curled up and ripped off and stuff like that. I'm like, man, I'm not paying money for that. But these guys right here, if you got an X3, you want some tree kickers, um, southeastern side by side hit up andy anderson tell him i sent you but anyways here we go today's video peace Today's episode is going to be sponsored by Super ATV. Just kidding. So, what I've got here is trailing arms. I got one of the boxes already open. I wanted to inspect it and make sure that it came with bushings. Um, so, before I got to this point and was like, oh man, I don't have bushings. But luckily, they did come with their own bushings. Now, me personally, I am not the biggest fan of Super ATV stuff uh, when it comes to suspension. Reason being is, is it's not, it's a, it's budget. Um, it's still gonna break. 
eventually at some point you know it's not the best built in the world but it is budget friendly uh, in some cases it is better than stock so unfortunately for the 64 inch machine the options of trailing arms is limited and the price range gets very expensive um, if I had a choice of what I was going to get I would have got the high lifter stuff uh, the reason being is, is the way that high lifter has their art um, unfortunately high lifter only makes stuff for 72 inches so being a 64 inch machine I can't so here we go so high lifter um, the high lifter stuff they don't make it for the 64 inch they only make it for the 72 and it's a higher it's got a arch to it it's a higher lift um, which I'll show you here in a little bit of where my problem is and why I'm replacing the trailing arms. I'm sure people have already experienced this in the past. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, at least it's very well packaged with lots of bubble wrap. So. There we go. Get this bad boy out of here. We can look at it. I partially pulled the other one apart. So let's take a look at these bad boys. Let me pull the other one out. And then we'll look at them up close. Oh, those are bushings. Heh, forgot about those bad boys. Those are for something else. Mr. FedEx man, bring me my other parts. There's more stuff coming, I promise. All right, we got them both out. These bad boys are beefy. All right, take an up close look at these arms. Again, I say I hope the wind noise is not bad. So these are their trailing arms. The option on these, they are pretty cheap. Um, the variety of trailing arms for the 64 inches, kind of expensive, can get expensive. And here's why, here's why I'm replacing the arms. Um, see, this one's bent. Mm. We'll go over here. We'll look on the other side. And this one's bent too. So reason reason why both sides is bent in the same spot is, is 
the way the trailing arm runs down this catches the rock first so if i have to bump something pretty hard this is where it hits it don't hit on the frame um, or the skid plate that catches this catches the blunt of the force this is the first time i'll be replacing this side um, this side over here this is the second one that has ever been on it and it got bent at the same time the other side did so we're going to try something new these are supposed to be a higher uh ground clearance so we're going to get the the wheels and stuff off and get these trailing arms off and then get these put on and see how everything goes all right so with the wheels off everything's pretty self-explanatory you got your uh radius rods yeah had a brain fart there you got your radius rods they got to come off um this side the brake lines are going to be a lot easier because i'd already drilled and riv nutted the holes um so your brakes will have to come off your axle nut you'll have to pull this hub off detach the bottom of your shock um right here for your sway bar and then your front nut and bolt up there this side same story brakes hub slide your axle off your three bolts for your radius rods i'll have to drill these rivets out i don't understand why they would rivet stuff on a part that's going to get broke anyways shock this here uh, we won't reuse these and then up there so here we go we're gonna knock it out Rain's starting to roll in on us, so chicken finger here helped me set up a canopy. We got both the arms off on both sides. Uh, as you can see, drilling the rivets out wasn't that bad on this side. We're just kind of at the angle that they have to be at. You have to take the trailing arm all the way down to get to these rivets here. But we got everything out. Nothing else is destroyed. We're going to go ahead and put these new ones back on. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before. Super ATV supplies their own bushings to go back in these. So you don't have to replace those or press in any bushings. Other than that, if we have any problems, I'll stop and let you know. Alright, problem number one. This guy right here. So, the bushing is way too tight. If you can see that so I tried to take a file and clean the powder coat off of it obviously powder coat is gone 
So this Mac Daddy is about to make some thorough precision adjustments. Bingo. That one works out a lot better than the other one did. Sweet! This thing's ready to go run if you need it. Oh, now we got the Dremel <laughs> fix. Hell yeah. <laughs> So the supplied hardware, oh, I dropped some of it. it, comes with plastic clips and the bolts that you need to put your brake lines and stuff back on. Uh, I reused the factory factory clips and just used their bolts that they had. But the end style is pretty straightforward. Um, the only part was I was having to grind out where this bottom knuckle goes. The rest of it was pretty easy. Um, Seems like it was a little bit more difficult than you would factory arms to put on there, but other than that, project's complete. We're gonna put the wheels on. Got Steed over here cleaning them so we can read. Just to, so we can torque the beadlock rings back down, test it out, see how this thing rides and looks with the new arms. Yeah, who's there? All right, we got them. We got it on the ground. They don't look too bad. Definitely look smaller compared to the stock ones. They look beefier. I guess I'll find out if they are or not. Got the bead lock rings reset on the back, cleaned out. Ready to do some digging. So, here we go. Peace out to the next one.